Was this a carbon copy of yesterday? Same thing. We finally just hunt and pecked away on offense and got the shots that we needed down the end. And we've done this too many times. Uh, when you look at it, we shoot 58%. 46 in the third, 58 in the last, and this first half, I'm tired of going back there giving the halftime speeches that Coach Starkey and I and Kelly have to give. But so far it works, and this was a ball game you could not afford to lose at home. All we did was hold serve. When you're at home, you're supposed to win, particularly until the end of the year, then we're going to have to be at our best when we have South Carolina and Mississippi State. But right now, teams are stopping us on certain things, and we're having to make adjustments. And it took us a long time on our offense in the first half to get what we wanted. And, of course, Danny didn't have a great shooting night, but she still did some things at the end. But I told Curtis on that last – play when we call timeout. It doesn't matter their man or zone. If we don't have the open shot, the ball's in your hand, you penetrate the lane, it's either your runner, dump the Hillsman, and I had no idea Andrew would be over there, but uh, it worked. We got the shot that we wanted, and then that was 5'11 Hyder shooting over her on that last shot. The same shot that she just made to put us ahead, and I think they tied it. Then Hyder had to score over her, and it's tough. It's pressure. We took Moncrief away because that's who they wanted to go to was Moncrief. But again, Curtis Knox, one heck of a job on the defensive end. Um, well, today wasn't my finest offensive hour, <laughs> but I mean, I still, they still have a lot of faith in me, so it's not going to happen too many times where I shoot 6 for 13, but them having confidence in me, it just helped me keep going and keep posting and keep going strong, even though she, Hyder was so physical and number five was so physical, so it's really them. It's them. They motivate me. <laughs> well, when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, man, one finally went in there. All my jump hooks were not falling today. So for that one to go in, I was like, okay, I'd rather make that one than make all the other ones and then miss in the crucial time. So at least I made it when it counted. <laughs> Um, well, that's where Coach Starkey comes in, and he um, gave us our defensive instructions, and we executed it. Um, and I'm just happy that we won the game. <laughs> Um, no, <laughs> no, uh, but um, everybody came towards Curtis, so I was an open man, so I just had to knock down a shot, so that's what I did. Personally, for me, when he tells me I'm getting my butt kicked, that motivates me to go out there and punish them. That makes me upset, and I think he knows that, so, um, but as a team, when he when he tells us that we have to we have to pick it up, we do this too much, it's getting old, you know, we can't make this a habit, I think that motivates us, and we're like, this is, he's right, we have to come out here, we can't be doing this all the time, and I think it makes us come out harder and want to just prove to him that we are capable of starting off strong. But we're off, which we need to be yes. until <laughs> next Sunday. And it's going to give us a time to do some individual work. Right now, it's not all our plays. We know our plays. We need to go back and work with some individual things that we need to improve on. And that's what we'll really be doing Tuesday and Wednesday before we think about Mississippi State. But we'll all be watching tomorrow night when they play uh, South Carolina. So it's going to be great for the nation, great for the league, and we'll see what we have to go against.